please introduce yourself. I am Fatima. I am a textile engineer and I have done my graduation from National Textile University Faisalabad. Okay, please carry on your presentation. Well, today the topic of my presentation is about weaving defects in fabric and troubleshooting, which is very important for a textile engineer to have good knowledge of weaving defects and troubleshooting. Okay, please carry on. First type of fabric defect is bend pick. Its remedies are check catch cord drawing in and its position, check air pressure of all nozzles, check yield frame height and shed crossing, check stretch nozzle timing and position, check H1 feeler head condition to check for any damage, and check binding of leno yarn. Second type of fabric defect is nozzle mark. Its remedies are check sub nozzle angle and height, check stretches at tip of sub nozzle, sub nozzles should be parallel, and check read dents. Very good. Please carry on. Third type of fabric defect is missing pick. Its remedies are check working of H1 and H2 feeler. Check feeler timing in I board. Check sensitivity of H1 and H2 feelers. Clean H1 and H2 feeler head. And also check take up belt and gears. Next type of fabric fault is tight ends. Its remedies are check that ends should be parallel. Remove entanglement of warp ends. Check that sticky ends of salvage should not run in the body. Next fabric fault is bad salvage. Its remedies are check leno stop motion. Check proper RH cutter setting. Check continuous working of batching winder. Next fabric defect is torn or hole at the temple area. Its remedies are check that temple cover is face to face with temple bracket. Ensure that temple bracket is fitted firmly on temple bar. Check yield frame height and shed crossing timing. Check warp tension. Check bottom guide bar setting. Check press roll spring tension. You are going very well. Your knowledge level is extraordinary. Thank you, sir. Next fault is missing end. Its remedies are check all serrated bars are not in loose contact at clamp. Serrated bars should be thoroughly cleaned slash should be polished with brasso. Dropper sensitivity to be checked regularly. Electric connection at the cable with clamp should be periodically checked. Remove fluff from the serrated bars slash draw pins. Ensure that each warp end is attached with one drop pin. To check WSM bar functioning frequently, if failure recurs. And final fabric fault is abrasion mark. Its remedies are check position of warp stop motion separator. Check cross ends. Check condition of healed wires. Check emery roll for any cuts etc. Check smoothness of temple covers. Check if temple rings are free. Bottom guide bar position and condition to be checked. Check read dent spacing. Excellent, you will be glad to know that you have got full marks in this presentation. Thanks a lot, sir.